Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video. We are continuing our opening of random TCGs and we're gonna look at these stickers today. Well, this is, is this a TCG? I'm not sure. A collectible card game, trading card game. I don't even quite know what the, the difference is to be honest with you, but most people have seen these types of stickers before. Those are called the Amada stickers from Japan. These are the original packs right here. So we got one from 1995, although even though it says 95 on the front, copyright on the back, if we can find it, it actually says 96. So th this came out in 96. And then this one I think is 90. Yeah, this one's 1997. So these these are like the original Japanese Pokemon stickers that have this, this, you know, this shape. And the reason why I say this might be a TCG or CCG or <laughs> trading sticker game, collectible sticker game, I'm not sure because actually, and I think most people don't know this, but you can actually play a game with these. Um, as you can see, and we'll see when you open them, they have like attack and defense numbers on here. And I'll just quickly, uh, I'll go through the rules before we crack these open. Uh, so the rules of the game are on the back. They're identical. Um, there's later series of stickers that came out afterwards that have slightly different rules and a slightly different card outline. And we can see it really well here. So this is the attack strength. This is the defense strength. This is the the, the or attack defense, and this is, this is their like strength against. So Charizard obviously good against grass types, so double damage. And then we have the level here. And yeah, let's just really look quickly look at the rules here. So in Japanese it says asobi kata, how to play. So you play as two people and everyone takes out one sticker and then you compare them. Or you battle. So it means, translated, if your number one, which is your attack, is higher than your opponent's number two, their defense, then you win. Quite simple, right? Uh, your attack is better than your defense, you win. And continues, San no maku to onachi type no aite ni taishite wa bai no damage, and then it says in brackets here, kougeki ryoku ga ni bai ni naru zo. So if your number three, is your opponent's type, you do double damage. So again, if we look at Charizard, if your opponent's sticker that they draw is a grass type, you do double damage, right? Makes sense. And then down here it says, Hikiwake no bae wa yon leburu o kurabe yo. So if it's a tie, then you compare the level and whoever has the higher level wins. Quite simple, that's the game. So you can actually play games of these. and. Also, um, there's different releases. So this, these come with 10 cards each. There's also other packs that only have two, not cards, but stickers. So you can like pull them off, like rip them off a little paper string that they're attached to, open it up. Both people take out one of the two cards, you compare, and then I guess whoever wins can, you know, wins both stickers. Kind of cool. So it's a cool little game. So we're gonna open these up. Uh, in between, we're gonna rip open some of these more modern stickers and also, before we start, I actually bought a sticker album to put these into. I have a bunch of these already, like kind of, uh, you know, bought over the years, you know, just the stickers. And I never really knew what to do with them because they're so small. So I was like, you know, you know what? I'm just going to buy a sticker album that we can put them into. And I don't know. I just bought this one. Really cool artwork, I think. And uh, this one even comes with a sticker too that we can open. But uh, Maybe we will start with one of these. We are going to start, I guess, with the 1997, so the newer one first. And uh, let's just open this up. And again, you would open this up, right? And then each person would take out one card or one sticker and then you compare. So I'm just gonna like simulate that so we can like play the game, uh, kind of, and see what would happen. So this is person one. And then we got, oh, they're like back back to front, interesting. And then person two would take this out. So person two got the Paris. And in this scenario, person one, okay. <laughs> Sweet, we got a, a Hypno here. So right away, uh, right away, we can see that Hypno would do 70 dam 77 damage to Paris 17 defense. So clearly Hypno is gonna win, but also since we see the type of Paris, uh, so it's like buck grass, right? So 
uh, this double damage does not affect it uh, anyways. But in this case, the person who drew the Hypno would win. And the rules, it doesn't really state, but I guess if you know, as kids play this on a playground, I would assume that the winner probably again gets both. Kind of cool. So we pulled one of these. These are neat. These are kind of like the chase cards, sort of. Uh, if we look at the back, maybe we can see. At the top here, it says uh, there's a total of 208 different cards. There is 150 normal stickers. I keep saying cards, but they're stickers. So 150 normal stickers. That's like this is a normal sticker. Then there is 35 prism stickers. This is a prism sticker. And then there is 18 gold stickers. So those are quite rare. And then there is five like question mark, question mark, question mark, secret rares. So who knows what those are, but let's just get this out. The rest, we'll just go through them real quick. All right, we got a drowsy here. Moltres, that's cool. Look at this. Look at that attack. Super strong. I guess you're really happy if you draw this one. All right. Oh, a little bit stuck here to the back. Oh, it's stuck to the one in the back and the front on the other side. Interesting. Raichu, sweet. And again, these are not worth much at all. Like uh, the gold ones and I guess maybe the secret ones are probably have probably have some value of like the popular Pokemon. Like I see them listed online for like insane prices that I think I don't know why anyone would pay, but I don't know. These are just really cool. Got a Magmar here. So I'm going to turn these around. And yeah, that's it. So this is our first pack. Oh, sorry. There's one more. Yeah, they like keep sticking to each other. Oh, nice. A Flareon. So really cool. Um, we got a Prism Hypno as our hit. So I'm, I'm quite satisfied with that. And I think this artwork, is this the Dark Hypno artwork maybe? of the actual card could be. So I'm just gonna put these in the back real quick. And before we continue with opening stickers, let's actually open the album and then just put some of those stickers in the album to see what it would look like. And yeah, this is just a nice little side thing, I guess, to collect. It's quite, you know quite inexpensive compared to cards and having a sticker album just makes it actually uh, kind of cool, I think. All right, so we got a little, a little piece of paper here, information, and then we got this sticker pack as well that we'll open afterwards. Taberare masen, it says, yeah, do not eat or cannot be eaten. All right, and then, we're just gonna see what it would look like if we put like the Hypno in here. There we go. Kind of cool. So yeah, I'd imagine that like if you fill, fill up this little binder here, it would be really neat. So I'm happy to start filling this out. All right, so these are the other cards we had. So let's just go into some of these. These are more modern, but I'll just like a little bit in between. They look, I think they, they're these actually. They have like a little texture to them, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know where these come from. These are super cheap, by the way. And yeah, just opening them like that is probably not a good idea, but whatever. And these are super cheap. You can buy like 20 of them for like five bucks. Like these are super cheap, but maybe still fun to open. All right, we got a Gardevoir here. Continuing. And again, it's probably better off like opening these up with scissors, to be honest, because like maybe you can just do it like a booster pack style. So maybe better. Yeah, that's better. All right. Can we pull a chase card? I don't even know what the chase would be. And since this is, these are like new, I don't recognize, I probably won't recognize a lot of the Pokemon, but this one's called Quarhi in Japanese, I think. I'm trying to read this stuff through the, <laughs> through the camera and it's really small and my eyesight is not the best. Ooh, that's probably a good one. Satoshi to Pikachu. So in Japanese, uh, Ash's name is actually Satoshi. That's probably a good one. Again, probably not really worth much, but that's one that's gonna go in the binder. And again, these have a really cool texture. Um, yeah, there you can see it. All right, I'm happy with that one. Uh, this one I got for free from the seller. So this is a really good one too, with the starters, I would assume. All right, just gonna go through these quickly because again, I don't expect, you know, there to be anything super crazy in here. There we go. Got a few more here, actually a bunch more. So yeah, next time you order something from Japan, you know, add it to your Americari list. That's cool. Um, just throw in a bunch of these. It's it's good fun, you know, uh, especially if you have children. This would be really cool. Or 
you know, if, if, if you're a teacher or something, you can give these away to your, to your students. Gengar, I like this one. All right. And these are super, super, super inexpensive. And just something that's quite fun to open. Oh, let's go. We pulled a Charizard. All right. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Um, you can never go wrong with pulling a Charizard. Um, not for the value here, but just for a cool, good, for the fun. Sylveon, pretty neat. And Evolution in here as well. All right, and on the back, by the way, Nintendo Pokemon. Oh, Metagross, kind of a cool sticker. All right, we got a few left here. And then we have the golden one too, that was included in the actual, with the binder. And that one is definitely older. Like the binder is like mid era. Oh, here we have a Satoshi and Ash. Pretty cool. Oh, this one has like a different, uh, different back almost, right? Look at that, huh? Oh, whoa, that's a, like a special Halloween one here. Pokemon Halloween. <laughs> Bunny Putty. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, continuing here. Oh, Surfatched. I think that's the name anyways. Oh, let's go. That's, oh, that's sick. Oh, the Gengar. That's the one from, like, this is the artwork or the style from the super amazing Pokemon card. That's awesome. All right, that's, that's some cool stuff in here. I'm psyched. So these are definitely going to go into the binder, I think. Okay. Another one I don't recognize. And the last one of the silver ones. And again, this is so inexpensive. It's just good fun. You know, it's just good fun. Not everything, you know, ripping packs in Pokemon doesn't have to be expensive. It can just be, you know, stickers, but that's cool too. Oh, and then the last one here, the uh, Mega Garchomp, I guess, I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so, but these are probably our hits here, I would say, right? Um, well, th th this one we got for free, but then we have Ash and Pikachu, we got the Gengar. The Jars are Ash and the, and the Mega Gengar and Sylveon. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, let's open this gold one before we go and open the vintage sticker pack. So this was the one that was included with the album. Uh, I wonder if there's like a date on it. Oh yeah, so 2008. So this is, this is, you know, this is pretty old. So this sticker is from 2008, much older than what we just saw here, right? So. It'll be really cool here. Let's just open it kind of carefully here. Here we go. Oh, it's it feels like super smooth on the front. Okay. <laughs> it's the same style. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, what's the name? In Japanese, it's Greguru. 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 Mm. And it even has a Pikachu the Movie sticker. Tiny. Like, look at the size of my thumb. <laughs> Very small, but that's cool. All right. Well, there we go. These are the more modern stickers. Just put these over here in a little pile. Get all this, this trash now, get it out of the way. And so let's go back to the OG one. 1996, even though it says 95 here, released in 96. So this is the OG one. Here, I guess this is probably the chase card here. It's like a gold Charizard, right? What does it say in the bottom? Uh, so, like, for lucky people, there could be a gold card in here. If you're lucky, you get a gold, a gold one. Sticker, not card. <laughs> well, let's see what we get. It's the same here. Yeah, norm so this is slightly different, actually. Let's go back here. Uh, so, on the other one we opened, it said, right, 150 normal. 35 prism, 18 gold. And so the the newer one or the one from 97 had like these five secret stickers, whereas the original one does not have those. It just has 18 gold. It's kind of like the chase 
the chase stickers. So yeah, let's open it up and uh, see what we get. Oh, I can see the prism already. Look at that. There it is. We're going to try We're going to turn it around. Oh, okay. I, I read the name. I know what it is already. But anyways, so we got a Venusaur. That's nice. That's pretty cool. I like that. Haunter. Nidorino here. And again, you could play the game, right? Remember, if you if you buy these with your friends, you know, uh, you could play the game. Uh, well, let's go this way, maybe. I don't know. Ekans. We got a Scyther. Pretty cool. Odd color choice here. Looks super faded. <laughs> Tentacruel. All right. Flip these around. Execute. Ex uh, execute. Oh, executor. I'm so no execute. I'm so bad with the with the English names, by the way, because these are like the OG base set, the one, the first or the first, the Gen one. I learned all those names in German as a kid. And we have an Abra, and then our Prism card. If you can read the Japanese name, yes, gives you a hint. 0.4 meters, so 40 centimeters, 4.2 kilograms, normal type. What could it be? It's a Meowth. <laughs> not what we were hoping for here. Not one of the big, big cards, but still pretty cool. And I don't know, these just these just look really nice. Yeah, there it is. So these are the stickers. Let's just put the Meowth here also into our little binder here. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll make a quick follow-up with some of the the other ones I bought back in the day and they'll just kind of show you what I have. Oh, actually, before I do that, real quick, I want to show you one thing if I can find it here. Uh, it's got to be somewhere. Oh, here it is. So I actually bought this one loose. I haven't even taken it out. It just arrived. So this is a, like a Charmander here. Uh, it has a little bit of an issue on the side here, but this is like one of those gold cards. Although this one, as you can see by like the design, it it looks like it's from like a later set because um, it still has like the you know attack defense strength and then like the type but then look at the box down here it is like completely different style so this one it says 2000 super dx so maybe this is from 2000 but this is like yeah like one of those uh, like a gold card I guess this would be like a chase. Uh, there are some people selling sealed packs of stickers that have like a gold card on the front and the ones that have like a Charizard or a Dragonite or a Mewtwo on the front, like people are asking like a hundred bucks and I'm like, what? <laughs> You're crazy. But these loose packs, like these vintage ones, they're not super cheap. They're like 10 bucks. So not super cheap, but if you, you can buy like a lot of these type of stickers for like 96, 97 for very, very cheap. Uh, so here is a Charmander, really cool. So this one's going to binder. Has got some, you know, some issues. But again, this is, you know, this is not for grading or anything like that. Although I think actually you can grade stickers. I think with Beckett maybe. But yeah, that's just not what I what I what I'm into. So let's just there you go. Well, I'll be right back once I've filled in some some empty spaces here. All right, so that took way longer than I'd like to admit, but I filled out the spinder. Now I got some some spare ones, some duplicates, and some that didn't have any room, unfortunately. But still, like this gives you like a a really cool idea of what this would look like. So these are the '96 and these are the '97. So you can tell the ones with this like this type of background and uh, they look slightly more faded are the '96. And then yeah, I don't have too many of like the prisms. I thought I had like a Charizard in the Blastoise Prism too, but I couldn't find it. So maybe, maybe I don't have it. <laughs> but yeah, it just kind of uh, gives you an idea of what this uh, looks like in a binder like this. I, don't know, I think it's kind of neat. And uh, yeah, I <laughs> I didn't really have any order here. I just kind of went by theme, a little bit by evolution, but yeah, I got a little bit lost. And uh, these are cool. Also, these are like different stickers too. These are pretty old as well, but they like kind of make one big artwork. If you like imagine these three kind of put together, it sucks a little bit that there's only two rows. Uh, it would be nicer with three uh, for all the evolutions and uh, evolutions. 
But yeah, uh, and these are the ones we just opened earlier as well, like these more modern ones. They're still pretty cool, I think. Anyway, so I think this is a really neat thing to do. I'll probably keep collecting some of these, maybe buy a few more packs here and there, and it's just really nice to kind of just go through these and look at them every now and then, and just some real cool vintage Pokemon stuff here. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.